In this video, we're going to look at a method of the my linked list class that we're going to create, and it's going to be called insert last. And what it's going to do is it's going to insert a node at the end of a linked list. So the first thing that we do is we create our my linked list called list. And then what we're going to do is we're going to insert Apple into the list. And so we create a list node, Apple, and it's not really part of the list yet because our head, our current, and our previous are still all equal to null. But what we do next is we check if head is null and we can see, yes, head is null. And then we're going to say, hey, now the head is equal to the new node that we just created. So what we've done is we've said, if there isn't anything in the list and we create a new node, it is going to become the head of the list. And we don't have to do anything more because if there's only one node, it's the last node in the list. Next, we're going to try to insert banana. And what we do is we create the node banana. Notice that its next value is null. So too is the head next value null. So what we're eventually going to do is set the head to this node because this is going to be our last node. So let's see how the code accomplishes this. First thing we check, we say, hey, is head equal to null? Well, no, it's not. It's equal to the first node. So we're going to do the else statement. So we're going to say current equals head. So we took current out of null because it's no longer null. So this one right here is both the head and the current value. Now we're going to enter into a while loop and we're going to say while current is not equal to null. Is this true? Well, yes it is because current is equal to this front value. It's not equal to null anymore. Then the first thing we do when we enter the loop is we say previous equals current. So now the head, the current, and the previous are all this first node here. Then we say current is equal to current dot get next. So current was this value right here. Get next is null. So now we take current and we moved it back up here. And now current is equal to null. We check our condition while current is not equal to null. Well, we just set it to null because we set it to the next value of the first node. And so this condition is no longer true. So we're going to have to exit the loop and do this last line of code here. So we say previous dot set next equals new node. So the previous we changed before was the head right here. So this is the previous node. And we say dot set next. So this value right here is no longer null. It's going to be the new node. And so banana is now inserted at the end of the list. And its next value is null. So we know it is the last value in the list. Okay, we're going to try this again. We're going to try this with cherry. We have to create the node, and that's exactly what we do. So it sends cherry and null. We check if the head is equal to null. Well, no, the head is not equal to null. It's equal to this node right here. So we do the else statement. Then we say current equals head. So current is going to come down here. And now this node is head, current, and previous. And it's previous because of the last call that we made. Now what we do is we're going to enter that while loop again, while current is not equal to null. Is current equal to null? No, it's equal to this node. So then we say previous is equal to current. We don't change anything because current and previous are already the same value. And then we say current equals current dot get next. Current dot get next is this value right here. And so current becomes this node right here. Then we check the condition and we say, is it null? Is current null? No, it's equal to this value right here. So what we do is we say previous is equal to current. So previous moved from head to here. So now current and previous are assigned the same value. Next, what we do is we say current equals current dot get next. Well, get next is null. So current is going to become null. And then our while loop is no longer true because current is equal to null. So what we do is we say previous dot set next new node. So what that's going to do is this node right here is previous and the next value is going to be set to this value. And it does exactly that. So now cherry has been moved to the last position in the list. 
And finally, we're going to do it one last time, and we're going to insert the node date into our linked list. So we create a new node and we call it date with a next value of null. We're going to check to see is the head null? Well, no, it's not because it references the first link in our list. Go to the else statement. Current is going to equal to head. Head and current are going to be the same, this first node. And then we say, while well, current is not equal to null. Well, current is equal to this first node. So the condition is true and we will enter the loop. Previous equals current, so previous was this node, and it comes back, and now head, current, and previous are all the first node. Next, what it's going to do is current is going to equal current.getNext. Current.getNext was this value right here, which points to this node, so current becomes the next node in the list. Then we check, and we say, hey, is this null? No, it's not, so we enter the loop again, and previous was right here, and now this node becomes both current and previous. They reference the same value. And then current equals current.getNext. So current was this node, but getNext points to this node. And so this now becomes the current value. We check to see if it's null. No, the node is not null. So we enter in the loop previous equals current. So current and previous reference the same value. Then we say current equals current.getNext. So this value right here is null. So current becomes null. We know that our while condition is now going to become false. So we no longer enter the loop. And we say previous.setNext. And so we're going to take this value, change it from null to the new node. And the new node is now inserted as the last value in the list. So what this video showed you was how to take a node and put it into a list. It showed you how to put a node into an empty list and a list with values already in it. It used all three of our instance variables, current, head, and previous, in order to accomplish its goal.